How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Fort 2005. Today we've got all the information you need to know about update 2 which is coming to Fort 2005 this week starting Thursday. And we also have all the information you need to know about update 3 as well which is in January. If this video does help you out guys please do consider subscribing to the channel. Let's get into what's coming up in Fort 2005. Now let's start with the festival playlist for update 2 or series 2 which contains a bunch of new cars and it also includes one of the new features coming this month as well. Now for the entire series which means summer, autumn, winter and spring for the whole series if you get a total of 120 points you can get the gingerbread man outfit which is pretty cool. And then for a total of 200 points, you can get one of the new cars of this month, the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. This is the first new car of this entire series. Now you'll also see on screen information about the new feature, which is the Horizon Secret Santa. Send gifts to friends and other players via the gift drop. When enough gifts are sent globally, everybody gets rewards. So over the course of December, when this starts on Thursday, we all need to work together and send as many gift drops as possible. Because as you can see, when we get halfway to this global goal, we'll get a Santa outfit. And then we, when we complete this global goal, which is 100%, we'll get an exclusive legendary car. What that is, I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out, but yeah, starting this Thursday, let's send as many gifts as we can and let's work on getting whatever this exclusive car is. Who knows what it is? Let's find out. Now they've added something else to do with gifting as well. As you know at the moment you can only gift cars randomly to random players. Well in update 2, if you go to the Forzalon shop, you will have the ability to actually buy any of the cars in the Forzalon shop for some of your mates. You can literally click on them and pick to buy it for a friend and you can actually pick which friend to buy this car and send it to. They will then get prompt when they're next on the game to drive towards a present or a gift and actually drive into it and smash it and it will give them the car that you bought them. It's very cool that you can actually specifically choose who to send it to. It's worth noting this is only possible with Forza on shop cars and not any car you want. Now the first week, which is summer, which starts this Thursday on the 9th of December. For 25 points you can get the Mercedes AMG E63 and for 45 points you can get the Maserati 8 CTF. This is the first new vehicle coming to the game this month. And on the 9th of December the first new car pass vehicle comes to the game, the Ferrari J50. Two new cars so far. Now next week, which is autumn, which starts on the 16th of December, for 25 points you can get the Koenigsegg 1 to 1, or for 45 points the Exo Set Forza Edition, if that's how you pronounce it. No new cars in the playlist there, however, on that same week, on the 16th of December, there will be a new car pass vehicle, the Ferrari Monza SP2. The third week, which is winter, which starts on the 23rd of December, in a few weeks from now. For 25 points you can get the Ferrari 599 GTO, which is yet another new car. And for 45 points you can get the Myers Manx Forza Edition. This isn't a new car. However, there is another new car coming that week, which is the Lamborghini Espada 400 GT in the Car Pass on the 23rd of December. The fourth week of Update 2, which starts on the 30th of December. For 25 points you can get the Lamborghini Gallardo Spider Performante. Cannot wait for that. Yet again, that's another new car. And then for 45 points you can get the Peel Trident. Very cool to see the Peel Trident come into the game towards the end of December is when we're going to get to drive that. And on that very same day, when that week starts on the 30th of December, we will get access to the Lamborghini Huracan Evo from the Car Pass. Very cool to see. A bunch more new cars. Now that is update 2 concluded, or series 2. However, as I said, we have all the information on series 3 as well, which starts on the 6th of January, right after week 4 of update 2 ends. As we can see on screen, for the total Series 3, for 120 points, you can get the Zenvo TS1, which is yet another new vehicle coming to the game, along with another new one. For 200 points, the Ford Mustang 1971. Two new vehicles in the total Series completion for Series 3, which once again starts on the 6th of January. Now when the series starts on the 6th of January it will kick off in summer which is the wet season. For 25 points you'll be able to get the Ferrari 488 GTB 
and for 45 points you'll be able to get the Toyota Celica. This is another new vehicle coming to the game. You may notice that all of the new vehicles that are coming to the game in the car pass and what we're seeing in the festival playlist are all vehicles which are within the Horizon promo which we spotted a few days ago on my channel, all of the new cars. Here they are. Now on that same week, on the 6th of January, we'll get access to the next car pass car, the Jaguar XJ13 from 1966. The second week of Series 3, which is autumn, which starts on the 13th of January. For 25 points, you can get the Donkervort GTO. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but that is a new vehicle. And then for 45 points, you can get the Toyota 8037, which is yet again another new vehicle. And along with that, the other new vehicle coming that week on the 13th of January, when autumn starts within the car pass, is the Jaguar XJ220 STWR from 1993. The third week of Series 3, which starts on the 20th of January, which is winter. For 25 points, you can get the Porsche Carrera GT, and for 45 points, you can get the Toyota AT38, another new vehicle coming to the game. There's plenty of them. And then that same week when winter starts, on the 20th of January, a new car pass vehicle will be available, the Ferrari FXXK Evo from 2018. I really cannot wait to get my hands on that car. Now the fourth week, the end of season three, towards the end of January. On the 27th of January, spring will commence, the hot season, and for 25 points, you can get the Jaguar XKRS GT, which is a new car, and then for 45 points, you can get the Vauxhall Lotus Carlton. Once again, another new car, and if you pair that up with the car pass vehicle, which is also new, the Audi TT RS, that starts on the 27th of January, both December and January are absolutely packed full of new vehicles coming to Fort 2005, which is brilliant to see. Another thing that's going to be added as of this Thursday is the map is now littered with Christmas decorations, lights, trees, snowmen, all sorts, all around the map over Christmas. You probably already knew about this, but that's pretty cool to see as well. And staying very Christmassy, they have added a ton of Christmas related clothes and hats and masks and all stuff like that. As you can see on screen, there's just a few. It's all very Christmassy, as you can see. Now, if you saw my video a few days ago, we actually looked at all of the 20 plus new cars which were added to the game but we didn't know when we were going to get them. Now these have been revealed, we can see that pretty much all of the new cars are gonna be within the next two months in the car pass or the festival playlist. However, there's a couple of cars missing and one of them is the PLP 50, which we all want to drive. Now the question is, when are we getting the PLP 50? As far as we can see, it's not in the car pass and it doesn't seem to be in any of the festival playlist rewards. Now from the information I've got, I can't see the rewards for all of the seasonal championships, so it might be one of them. However, I have a reasonable guess. Remember the Horizon Secret Santa I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that there's an exclusive reward for 100% completion? Maybe that is the PLP 50, because as far as we can see, the PLP 50 is nowhere to be found. We know it's in the game. They're giving us every other car, but not the PLP 50, so it's my reasonable guess that that 100% reward may just be the PLP 50. We'll have to wait and find out. I hope I'm right, I love being right. Who doesn't love being right? But other than that, we've still got the PL Trident and tons of other brilliant new cars coming to the game. Now bear in mind, because we've been given information on Series 2 and Season 3 in one go, that may mean that they're not planning on doing a Season 3 stream at all. I might be wrong, we'll have to wait and see, but the next time I do an update information video might be quite a while from now since we know everything for the next two months rather than one, but we'll have to wait and see. Let me know in the comment section below which car you're looking forward to the most. That is everything you need to know about the cars and all the stuff coming to Series 2 and Series 3 very soon. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content, and I'll see you all later.